Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with a look at the new Stratomatic baseball game that just came out. Now, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the, uh, the, the league as the um as it would have been had there been um an entire schedule played so what i did was as you can see here i've got the 2020 major leagues now this is the league that um you know as it came based on 60 games um you can see it said milwaukee was 29 and 31. so what i did was i duplicated the league and called it the 2020 majors and I multiplied the statistics by 2.7. So um, you're still going to get the records are still going to say, you know, based on 60 games. But if we look, let's say, at Chicago and you go to Tim Anderson and you bring up Tim Anderson, you can see that Tim Anderson has 562 at bats now and 27 home runs, which is what he would have done if all of those statistics that he had in the 60 game season were to have been multiplied out over what would have been a normal 162 game season. Um, <clears throat> so let's, you know, take a look. I guess we'll go down and we'll just take a look at some of the, uh, you know, some of the more interesting players. Here you got Bumgarner who had a bad year. Now you see if you, if you uh, multiply him out, he was three and 11 with a, in 113 innings pitched. And this is what his card looks like, which is not very good, as you can see. Um, although that is better than what I would have expected for a guy with a 648 earned run average. But um, that's, yeah, that, that's Bumgarner. Uh, let's see. I don't know who else they had that was interesting. Merrill Kelly. Merrill, Merrill Kelly had a good year. I know about him because, and you can see, he would have, um, multiplied out to eight and five with a 259 earned run average in 70 innings pitch or no in 84 innings pitch allow 70 hits and you can see that card's not bad pretty good card and uh, he's on my Providence Graves um, let's see who else what did David Peralta do David Peralta had a pretty good year so you can see that's what David Peralta's card looks like. Let's move on to another team. Atlanta, you got Freddie Freeman. Everybody wants to see Freddie Freeman. Now you see he multiplies out to uh, 578 at bats and 35 home. Is that right? 35 home runs. Holy crap. And a 341 uh, batting average. Man, that is a pretty good card, although it looks like it's mostly walks. And Strat does that a lot. They'll... A guy that has a high batting average, they tend to put a lot of walks on the card. I mean, he probably had a lot of walks, but he hit 341. I mean, give me a break. Um, so let's see who else we got here. Um, who else was good on their team? Ozzie Albies. Let's take a look at him. Now, he would have only... Um, he would only have projected out to 319 at bats. And he can't hit lefties. So, all right. How about Acuna? Acuna's another big star for them. He would have projected out only to 432 himself. And he only hit 250. Did he only hit 250? Man. But he's got a ton of walks. 406 on base percentage. I mean, his versus lefty side is basically just all walks. Uh, who else did they have? Dansby Swanson. He, he wasn't bad. So that's what his card would look like. Uh, yeah, so Baltimore... Got the Baltimore Orioles, Tom Eshelman. He had a pretty good year. 95 innings pitched. It was what he would uh, project out to. Of course, there wasn't a lot of uh, Orioles that had good years. 283 for Hanser Alberto. 283, but um, probably not a lot of walks. No, a 306 on base percentage. 
um, Chris Davis. Chris Davis hit 116, and he would only have projected out to 140 at bats. That's really, really bad. Although, you want that guy versus lefties because he can get on base. As, as Billy Bean would say, he gets on base. Man. All right, so let's move on to Boston. Who do they have? Let's take a look at, uh, well, my main man, Dylan Covey. 707 earned run average. Yeah, he's not letting me down. Dylan Covey. Although... For a 707 earned run average, this is a really good card. I might actually draft this guy. All right, maybe not. Um, let's check out JD Martinez. He only hit 213 with 19 home runs projected out. All right. Now, here you go White Sox, Tim Anderson, a lot of guys you could look at here. And Tim Anderson has a really nice card, especially against lefties. And then you go, uh, let's see, Aaron, Aaron Bummer, 096 earned run average. That's a, see, now this looks a little bad to me for an 096 earned run average, although he only gives up one hit on either side. One, um, no, two. Two automatic hits on either side and that's on the left hand side on the right hand side versus righties <clears throat> he doesn't allow any hits so sometimes I tend to be a little critical Dylan Cease I mean Dylan Cease he was okay uh, Zach Collins 43 at bats, 063 batting average. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Crotchet. Crotchet with a 0 ERA and 16 innings pitch. That's got to be nice. Uh, yeah, it is. What do you know? It is. I better put him on my draft list. I mean, I know he's only going to be able to pitch 16 innings, but I'll take it. Nicky Delmonico, Detweiler. Detweiler actually had a pretty good year. Yeah, especially against uh, lefties, he's really good. Uh, Adam Engel, 295. But again, he's really, well, I don't know. He looks, um, he looks roughly this. I mean, he's good against either one, I think. Jace Fry, he's on my team. He allows too many base runners. Giolito, let's take a look at Giolito. Now, of course, I'm going heavy on the White Sox because I'm a White Sox fan, but... Also, the White Sox were a good team. I mean, you know, come on. But when we get to the Twins, man, you got to see Nelson Cruz. But anyway, let's finish up here and see what we got. Dallas Keuchel with a 199 earned run average, 170 innings pitched, 140 hits if it was extracted out. And there you go. And uh, let's go. Johan Moncada would have had 16 homers and a but a 225 batting average. He was hampered a little bit, though, by the COVID-19 um, virus. So this might be an aberration. Plus, it was only 60 games. And then Lewis Robert only hit 233, but is a center field one with a negative three arm. And he's going to do better in the future, I think. All right, let's move on to the Chicago Cubs. Now, you got some guys that were surprising for the Cubs, like Bryant. Bryant only hit 206. And that's what his card would look like. And uh, let's see. Um, 
Schwarber. Let's take a look at Schwarber. He only hit 188. Get on base a little bit versus righties. Um, Kyle Hendricks. Hendricks is always good. Yeah. Not a bad card. And then Rizzo. Let's take a look at Rizzo. Oh, Rizzo. Now, he's another guy. He hit 222 last year, but he would project out to 30 homers. He gets hit by pitch, I guess, a lot. Moving on to Cincinnati. Cincinnati, a lot was expected of Cincinnati, um, and it didn't come to fruition. And so let's see here. You got Freddie Galvis, hit 220, nothing to look at there. Sonny Gray, 370 earned run average, not a bad year for him. Let's go look at Bauer. Trevor Bauer, who just signed that huge contract, and he had a great year. Man, against righties especially. You aren't getting on against him if you're a right-handed batter. You can't handle the truth! Uh, Castellanos hit 225, but he would have projected out to 38 homers. Of course, in this day and age, you know, I mean, back in the day when I was growing up in the, in the uh, 70s and 80s, 38 homers would have been something. Now it's really not. So we move on to Cleveland. Yeah, let's move on past Cleveland. Go to Cleveland. How would you like to manage the Indians this year? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is a chance to manage in the big leagues. Let me think it over, will you, Charlie? Colorado. <laughs> you can tell I don't like Cleveland. Um, Matt Kemp. Man, let's see what Matt Kemp did. 239. Matt Kemp. Hmm. Not a great card, though. Um, and then, of course, you've got Arenado, who just signed a huge deal. And remember, these are, you know, half the time playing in Colorado. So, I don't know. We'll see how he, uh, how he works out in St. Louis. The defense, I think, will be there. The defense is always going to be there until he gets older. But what did Blackman do? Blackman hit 303 and would have projected to 16 homers. Not a great card. Against lefties, it's pretty good. Well, yeah, you know what? It's not that bad. I guess it's pretty good. Uh, Detroit, I don't think Detroit had anybody. Houston, we got Houston. Uh, so let's see, what do we got? Yuli Gulier, Guriel. I got to look at him because I have him on my draft list because I need a first baseman. He's not too bad. El Tuve. El Tuve only hit 219. Are you kidding me? Huh. All right, yeah, well, that's not a good El Tuve card. He's even a second base three. I mean, he just regressed all the way around. Bregman. Bregman hit 242. Of course, you know, again, you need to keep in mind that this was a 60-game season, and you can have, you know, you can go through in a regular season a slump where, I mean, not a complete slump that lasts all of 60 games, but you can go through, well, like, um, you know, you could go through a 60-game period that's not as good as it would otherwise be. So, yeah. There you go. Um, Grenke, 403, 181 hits and 181 innings it would have projected out to. Still, that's not bad. Uh, let's see here. Who else we got? Might be Kyle Tucker. 24 homers, 113 RBIs he would have uh, projected out to. But a left field three and a right field four 
with a plus one arm. Miles Straw, 207 batting average, no homers. And against lefties, he's a paraplegic. So anyway, there you go. There's Houston, Kansas City. Kansas City had uh, this guy Singer, Brady Singer. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, not great, but you know he's young too. Uh. Let's go look at Mike Trout, obviously. Yes, yes, we're going to look at Mike Trout. 46 home runs, 124 RBIs he would have projected out to. Yeah, that's not a bad card. I mean, I, mean, I got to say, it's not a bad card. So, uh, hmm. You know, and even Bellinger, who had a bad year for him, 239 batting average, projects out to 32 homers, and really the card isn't that bad. It is against, really it is against lefties. Um, yeah, he's not that good against lefties. But against righties, yeah, you know, I'll take him. Mookie Betts, let's take a look at the big Mookie Betts, man. 292 with a an on base percentage of 366. Not a bad card, obviously. Uh, Gonsolin, that's their new guy, or one of their new guys, or relatively new. 231 earned run average. That's a pretty good card for a starting pitcher. So anyway. Moving along, moving along. Uh, Brinson, 226. This is a guy they expected a lot of when he came up and, you know, never really panned out. Milwaukee. Um, Ryan Braun, bad year for him. 22 home runs he would project out to. Um, so anyway, now Minnesota, here we go, Minnesota, and you go to Cruz, Nelson Cruz, look at this card versus left-handed pitching, unbelievable, you hit the two column, you're gone, it's gone, I mean, he's hitting a home run pretty much in the two column, unreal, now the righty card, yeah, you know, that's good, but... Man, that lefty card is crazy. Um, Lamont Wade Jr. is one of their uh, young guys. He would only project out as a part-time player anyway, 105 at bats. Um, Polanco, 258. Only hit 258. That's, that's pretty bad for Polanco. Plus, I got to get a Polanco face. You would think I would have Polanco in there. Um, Max Kepler, 228, with 24 home runs, though, he would project out to. So then you got the Yankees. Um, Zach Britton with a 189 earned run average. Pretty much what you would expect. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm only going to put these guys up for a quick second. But, you know, if there's somebody you want to look at that I click on, you obviously you could just pause the video and take a look at the card if you don't have the card yet or the game. Um, judge, take a look at Judge. Judge doesn't have a bad card versus lefties either. Kind of like the Cruz card. Not quite as good, obviously, but. And he projects out to, to 12, 24 home runs, but 24 home runs in 273 at-bats. So that's why, right there. 
And uh, yeah, who was the other guy? Their first baseman, Voigt. Yeah. Voigt projects out to 59 home runs. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's got a cruise card, only it's the three column versus lefties instead of the two column. And it's looks like it's a little better versus righties for home runs, but 59 homers. Unbelievable. All right, so now we got the Mets. Uh, Pete Alonso projects to 43 home runs, but only a 231 batting average. Yeah, Jacob DeGrom. DeGrom, there you go. Typical DeGrom, great. Oakland. Diekman. Diekman was really good. This guy was really good, especially against righties. He'll shut righties right down. Chapman. Chapman only hit 232, but 27 homers. And again, 27 homers in this day and age, not that great. Philadelphia, you've got, of course, Bryce Harper. Where is he? I have Bryce Harper on my team as well. So, yeah, there's the Bryce Harper card. Tommy Hunter, that dude had a rough year. 401 earned run average, though. He's not, that's not a bad card. Not too bad for what he did. Zach Wheeler, 292, earned run average in 192 projected innings and does not allow much of anything against lefties or really righties. Hmm. Really good card. Pittsburgh, no. Uh, San Diego. <laughs> San Diego. Um, Got to look up Ted T, obviously. Shortstop, one. E8, and then a hitting card that's just out of this world. So, yeah. My phone is blowing up, so let's see. So, anyway. <clears throat> just trying to give you guys an overview, you know. I mean, obviously, most of you are probably getting the game or getting the cards or getting some kind of iteration of uh, something that would give you the uh, team. Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence 096. That would be interesting to see. Yeah. He's a paraplegic against righties. Um, what did Flores do? 268. 268, and is that right? 32 home runs? Man. Yeah, I guess it is. So that's what he'd project out. Seattle. Um, now, Evan White... Uh, Evan White is a first base one because he won the gold glove. And a guy pointed that out to me in my Seattle video, my um, White Sox versus Seattle. But I said he was an up and coming, you know, guy. And he said, oh, yeah, he was a gold glover. Well, yeah, he was a gold glover. But look, <laughs> a gold glover hit 176. So he's still, I would say he's still up and coming. He's not there yet. Shed Long, they were expecting that guy to be their second baseman forever. And uh, turns out he's not that good, especially against lefties. St. Louis, <clears throat> Paul DeYoung, 250 batting average, eight home runs, pretty vanilla, and the card is pretty vanilla. Uh, Harrison Bader, let's take a look at Harrison Bader, 226. Center field one, though. Really, that card versus lefties is not bad at all. <clears throat> Tampa Bay, of course, they had some good guys. Willie Adamas hit 259.
Nick Anderson, there he is, Nick Anderson, the guy who was great during the season, but not so great in the playoffs, or specifically the World Series. But that is one heck of a card right there. Um, Glasnow at a 140 or 408 earned run average, 154 innings pitched, he would project out to. Texas, uh, you got Gallo, hit 181, 27 home runs, he projects to. Versus righties, he's probably playable. Against lefties, not really so much. That would be a problem. And then, of course, Odor. You got to take a look at Odor because he was really bad. 167, a 167 batting average. Projected to 373 for at bats, which is not even a full season anyway. And against lefties, yeah, he really cannot hit lefties. I mean, he really can't hit righties either, but at least, I mean, I don't know. It's really bad at both, against both, really. But And then Toronto. Um, let's look up some of their, some of their guys. Biggio. 250, Biggio. 22 homers. Yeah, I mean, not bad. He did have a good on-base percentage, though, so he'll get on. He'll walk for you. Um, and then Vlad Guerrero Jr., hit 262 and projects to 24 home runs for a regular season. Which is okay, even a 329 on base percentage. I mean, that's pretty vanilla performance. And against righties, he's really not that good. And then Washington, um, let's go take a look at Scherzer. There he is. 374. 181, 181 innings pitched, he would project out to. Good card. Eaton only hit 226 last year, and now he's on the White Sox. And this is what he would project out to. Not good. Even against righties, which he's supposed to be supposedly the White Sox would be playing him against. But again, it's a 60 game small sample season, so you never know. Brock Holt, interesting guy, Brock Holt. 211 last year, that's what his card would look like. So that was just a look around at what the, uh, what the players on the teams would look like and what their statistics would be projected out to an entire season. Um, obviously, there are a lot of guys, a ton of guys I did not look at, but I tried to look at some of the big ones. And I hope you enjoyed this look and, uh, you know, enjoy your game, your leagues. Uh, let me know what kind of leagues you're in, if you're in any, um, whether you get the game, whether you get the cards. I get the game and the cards. I'm even going to get the, re the, uh, the Imagine season in the cards. Because uh, that's, I mean, I'm a collector, so as well as a guy who plays in competitive leagues. So, yeah, let me know that. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.